hello guys and welcome to this tutorial we are going to go through ways on how you can uh, create a drop down list in microsoft excel without having to use a visual basic uh, programming coding or so it is easier to do that because it will help you out to fit out content you don't want to or to select certain items that you'd want to it would be great to use uh, this choice if you want to set up for example a multiple choice uh, examination or a simple database where you're able to select values without having to program or to use any other complicated methods. So for us to do that, let's jump in into the practical part. So the first thing you need to do is that uh, first make sure that uh, you format uh, the data that you'd want uh, the formula to pick up from, which means it can be a list of student names, it can be a list of any other items that you wish to, store items, grocery items, and all that. So once you've done that, make sure that uh, it is uh, formatted as a table. So on the keyboard, you press Ctrl plus 3. You make sure my header is, is, tagged, is tagged here and you click OK. Once you do that, it means that it's now a table. I will show you later on why it is important for you to treat this or format this as a table. So once you've done this, the next thing you need to make sure is that on our searchable drop-down list here, we have to make sure that uh, we select uh, this cell that we want to search for or will be able to look for information. So once you've done that, make sure you come here under data and then you come here which says data validation. Under data validation, you click here. And then under settings, make sure you're under settings. And then where it says validation criteria, and you should say allow. Click on this drop down list here and you say you want the list. So once you've done that, uh, you have to select the source. So the source, there are two methods that you can use. So let us go through this. So the first thing you can do to be able to select the source, you can either select the range here and name it as any other names that you'd want and press enter, right? It all works that way. So let's come here, we've got data validation here. Then here, it says that you can select the, this range or you can come and say equals to names. If you, keep, if you put on a wrong uh, name for the cell range, it will give you an error. So in this case, if I put name here like this, it will give me an error. But if I put an S, which is correct, and I click OK, it means that it's able to point to that cell reference. So once you've done this, here you'll be able to see that this is list now here. We're able to select items here without having uh, to manually click them. And this is helpful if you have a lot of addresses that you'd want to verify in Microsoft Excel. So here you can also look at... um. The advantage of creating a table so if you create a table and you say test stew right and once you do that and if you come here now and you, you look you see that the test is done it is uh, appeared on this a uh, searchable drop down list so this is how you're able to use a drop down list in microsoft uh, excel to be able to consolidate look for data, organize your data without having to program or use VBA. So I would like to say thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video. We will be able to come up with more tips and tricks on how you can improve your productivity. So I would like to say bye for now. Ciao.